Hey, welcome back guys, it's Karate Fox, and today we're going to be finishing off our Hong Kong MTR KTT train. So before we did a tutorial on the locomotive, now we just have to do the rolling stock. So we have these double-decker coaches, uh, trailers, uh, there's first class and this premium class, so there's actually four different types of cars here. Uh, these first two are first class, so we have the T2A, followed by the T2B, and then we have the premium class. This is the T1C and the T1D. So you'll see the difference between the cars is pretty much like where the color scheme is. So you'll see on this one, it's like the whites on the right, while this one, the whites on the left. And some of them, they have like yellow lines and the other ones have like white lines. As for the other side, this is what it looks like as well. So these are not symmetrical, so they are a little bit different on this side. You'll see like a tiny window right there. And this window is tiny as well. If you look on this side, there's like a wider window. So that's one way you can tell the difference between the two sides. And also if you take a look at the top windows, this is like one of the things that is troublesome about this car is it its windows are not like all the same length. So there's like these tiny little windows and then these are the wide windows. But in Minecraft, they sort of look the same. And then I had to line up the bottom windows together. So that was took, took a quite a while to do. I actually was recording a video for it and then I realized I did something off. So I had to go back and fix it. Took a while, uh, but it is worth it in the end to make it more realistic and accurate to uh, real life. And um, it's actually manufactured by Kinky Sharyo in real life. So it comes from Japan. And this commission itself, it's a commission by HKMTR Train OVO. So thanks to him for making this video possible. And let's begin this tutorial. So first off, I'm going to be building uh, one base car. And then I'm going to modify it to each of the other cars. So first off, we're going to grab some materials. Take out a light gray concrete. Blue concrete. Polish andesite slab. Black stone brick. Stone slab stone brick wall, brick wall, polish, uh, we already got that, stone slab, we already got that, gray terracotta, um, also, uh, yeah, let's take out, uh, iron bar. So first off, we're gonna make the bogey. So each of these cars are uh, 38 blocks long, excluding the gangways and the couplers. So we're gonna make the coupler first. That's gonna be a black stone brick, two blocks above the ground. And then to the side, we'll add in a stone slab. All right, so right behind this black stone, we'll add in a light gray concrete. I'm gonna make it 38 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. And in the back, we'll add in that block stone as well to signify the end where the coupler is. Let's go back over here. Go to the bottom, add in two polished andesite slabs. And then we'll uh, skip a block here, add in a gray terracotta. Then skip two blocks, add another gray terracotta. Then we'll add to this edge here a brick wall with a stone brick wall next to it, and then a two by two stone brick wall top. And then we'll add in an iron bar top and middle. All right, and then on the inside part, we're gonna add two blocks wide of light gray concrete, and we'll make it five blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. All right, so next we'll grab dark oak, fence gate and button, and another brick slab. So inside, we'll add in four blocks long, another brick slab, and then add it in between these wheels. Add dark oak button sides of the wheels, and then a dark oak fence gate here, and another fence gate so it's opened up towards it. And then next we'll add in a blue concrete, and then two light gray concretes. And then we'll add these two facing each other, stone stairs. And a stone slab underneath. 
Then we'll make a C-shape on top using blue concrete. And we'll add in this nether brick wall inside the C. Then we'll add in smooth court slab, the front here, and then four smooth court slabs after the doorway. Add in um, light gray concrete inside of these slabs. And we'll add light concrete all the way on this edge, all the way across like that. Next, we'll take out um, bedrock, blackstone brick, and blackstone brick slab and stairs. So we'll add in two bedrocks here, and then two blackstone brick, blackstone brick stairs on the sides of it, and then two light gray concrete, blackstone brick slab here. Skip two blocks, add another one here. Then we'll take out polished andesite stairs and fill in the gaps in between and on the edge. Now this inner part here, that'll be uh, stone brick stairs, two blocks like that. And we'll make a two by two of stone brick. And on top of the middle, we'll add in light gray carpet, like so. Then we'll go on this outer edge and we will add in these three blocks tall, yellow glass panes. Okay, then we'll add in dark oak fence gate right here to side this andesite slab, open that up, add another one in front of it, side, open that up, like that. Then we'll add on the top part a spruce fence gate in the middle with a birch button next to it. Then we'll take out black concrete, prismarine brick stairs and slab. And we'll go up here, make a two by four of black concrete. Then we'll add in prismarine stairs, prismarine slab, and then two back to back stairs. Like so. Then we'll move down on the bottom and we'll add two blocks wide, like great concrete and then stone stairs upside down. Wrap that around that light gray concrete like that. All right, so then on top of this um, uh, stairs right over here, we'll add in a stone slab like that. So we just skip that one away from the edge and we'll add in a blue concrete right behind it like that. Then we'll take out light gray concrete, add it underneath the stairs, make it go all the way across like that. And then we're going to copy what we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we've built the other half, it should look like this. All right, so now we have to connect uh, some stuff together. So you'll see this roof area where we have the stairs, this carpet that's going to extend all the way across. I'm going to use world edit for that to match up with the other side like that. All right, next, we're going to match up this light gray concrete line in the middle. So extend that all the way across. And then we'll fill in the inside of the windows with black concrete. All the way across like that. And then on this side, we'll add in prism rain slab, top to bottom, and then stairs. that so this is going to be one of the smaller windows and then we want the larger windows which is like 2.5 also go right here add it two slabs like that and then stairs and then two slabs and then keep on doing these two slabs and stairs till we reach the other end so there should be like three more windows so the windows on top it should look like this all right then we'll go on the bottom area Right above this uh, blue concrete, we'll add in black concrete. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And now we have to extend this area with the black concrete to the stairs. And I'm going to make this go all the way across again, right there on the side. So do that pretty much like that. So we connected the bottom area together like that. All right, so next we'll take out light gray concrete. We'll add in two blocks tall here 
Yeah, okay, make this two blocks tall, go all the way across here. Go on the other side, and we'll do the same thing. Two blocks tall, all the way across like that. Wonderful. After we've done that, uh, we'll copy what we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both sides, we can decorate the edges now. We'll add in an iron bar on the left of this and stone buns on either side of it, like that. Then we will go onto the other side. Do the same thing, add iron bar on the left, stone buns on either side of it. And then we'll add in light gray banners to the sides of these uh, quart slabs on the edge. Fix this up a little bit. Alrighty, so now what we can do, um, we can add in the windows. So on the bottom, on this side, we'll add in two uh, black glass like that. And then we'll go on the other side, go to this first window here underneath the stairs, add in black glass, blue concrete in front of it and blue concrete after it, and then two blocks wide glass, and keep on doing that every other... Well, we'll skip a block for the pillars. And then we'll add in blue concrete in between. Now the windows on the other side there are a little bit different from this side, so that's why I'm doing them separately. So then we'll go to the other side, and we can add in a blue concrete, then two black glass, and then we'll go up towards the front, go in the middle, of this window with a slab, add black glass, and then blue concrete to black con black glass, and add it every other. We have uh, that one block pillars in between everything. All right, so it should look like that. And let me just check. We're gonna add in a blue concrete in the front of this, like that. All right, and then we'll go onto the other side, and then we'll go onto this side, and then we'll line up with this blackstone slab, go underneath here, add it upside down, stone brick stairs like that. And the other side, we'll repeat the same thing, just line up with that slab on top, add in the upside down stairs. Then we will move um, right over to this side, we'll add in the little window here. So that is going to be underneath the slab, uh, one block ahead from that black stone brick slab above. And if you can, in the inside of this, uh, we'll add in, actually the other side, there's like a two block wide window here. Add black concrete on the inside of the other window that we just placed, and then two black concretes here, and then two black glass like that. So then we'll add in um, black stone buttons and birch bun. So there's going to be two blackstone buttons here, that birch bun making an L shape. And the other side, there's going to be um, just a birch bun diagonal to that window, like that. Alrighty, so that's what we have so far for this base. Now, if you actually look at the individual cars, uh, the T2A has a very similar color scheme to the last one, the T1D. So I'm gonna pair those up, and these two middle cars, they are very similar as well, so I'm gonna make a base for them as well. So we're gonna copy um, this thing again, uh, build another copy of this, and I'm gonna make two bases, one for the, these two pairs, and then these two pairs here. Okay, so we have these two copies now. So first, I'm gonna make the base for the A and the D. So um, we'll have to replace some blocks. So take out smooth quartz. And we'll need to replace uh, these two blocks here, smooth quartz. This block on the edge, smooth quartz. And then on the other side, add uh, smooth quartz. Replace these light gray underneath the slot that we placed earlier. Then we'll take out blue concrete. We're going to replace these. Uh, light gray concrete with so blue that all the way to this edge other side we'll do the same thing replacing this bottom row with blue concrete 
Alrighty, so after we've done that, we'll add in blue concrete inside for the stripe and extend this uh, stone slab all the way across to the edge. The other side will do the same thing, just fill this in, blue concrete, and extend the stripe all the way across to the other side like so. Alrighty, that's nice. Alright, so for the other side, uh, we'll take out light gray concrete and just fill in the gap here that we have. That's way more simpler. And the other side, we'll do the same thing, extending it like so. All right, then we'll move up over to this side and we will fill this in with blue concrete like that so we don't have that hole anymore. All right, so next we'll go next to this stone brick stairs and we'll add in an acacia slab next to it. Same thing on the other side and add in light gray concrete on the inner part of that like so. So we got that nice pattern. All right, and then we'll go over here and replace this um, corner uh, blackstone brick slab with a polished andesite stairs like so. And then we'll add in light gray banners down over here, fill that in. The other side, we'll add in stone buns right there at the bottom like that. And then over here, add in the light gray concrete in that corner. And then we'll go to this end over here and change this blue concrete to light gray concrete. And then we'll take out cyan concrete. And then we'll replace this edge here all the way across like that, as well as the inner part right above that quartz slab. Just replace all of that uh, with the cyan concrete. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just replace all of this with cyan concrete. Like that. And all right, so once you add that cyan concrete, that's pretty much it on how to build the bases for the T2A and the T1D. And for the T2A, that's actually it. Uh, that is the basis of the whole thing. And now we're going to convert this into a T1D, so I made a copy right over there. And basically what you're gonna do for this one is there gonna be like a yellow section here, so a yellow stripe. So we'll take out that oak slab, and then we'll replace these quartz slab on this side only. You don't have to worry about that white box on the other half, so replace that. Over on the other side, we'll do the same thing, just replace this all the way across, so we got that yellow. Okay, so after we've done that, uh, we'll have to also move uh, the window on this side. Just a little bit forward here, add blue concrete like that. And we'll take a nice inspection. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the T1D. Now let's move back over here to uh, the T2B and T1C bases. So we got this base down. Uh, we'll take uh, that cyan concrete. And we'll replace this uh, light gray section over here, as well as right above on the inside of that uh, quart slab. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Just replace all of, the, all of this. Alrighty. And then at uh, the bottom here, actually, I need to fix this a little bit. And we'll add in light gray concrete all across this bottom area. Like that. And over here, we'll fill that in light gray concrete. Filling in like so. So on the other side, we'll add a blue concrete inside. Stone slab on the outer edge. Blue concrete, uh, that's already there. Stone slab like that. Other side, we'll do the same thing. All the way across like that. Okay, so now for this one, uh, there's going to be uh, smooth quartz underneath these um, quartz slabs that we placed earlier. So just add that like that, right underneath, directly underneath that um, quartz slab. All right, then we'll add in blue concrete, just replace these light gray concretes underneath the quartz. 
making a line across the other side. We'll do the same thing, just replace that with blue concrete like that. All right, and then we'll make the logo here. That's a acacia button and then blackstone button. While the other side, acacia button and blackstone button like that. And right down on this corner, fill that in with light gray concrete. Cross like that. Okay, then over here, light gray concrete. Then we'll add in stone buttons at the bottom here. Both sides. And go on the other side. Add in stone buttons right here at the bottom. As well. Alright, then we'll go up on the roof and we'll replace this blackstone slab with a polished andesite stairs like so. Alrighty, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the basis of the T2B and the T1C. So for the T2B, you don't have to change anything. That's pretty much it for the T2B. Now we're going to make a copy of that and I'm going to convert this to a T1C. So basically for this one, it's that oak stripe, which is yellow. So take a replacer and we'll replace this line here with oak slabs all the way across here. Place that over here as well. And do it like so. And then we'll move this window to the left. Place that original window with blue concrete like that. All right, and that's pretty much it on how to build the T1C. So now you have all the cars and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a really, really long time to make this video. I had so many things to change. Uh, but thanks to HKMTR Train OVO for commissions built and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy this video, remember hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.